So welcome to another live session. Today we are going to be talking about TV film casting competition, a great competition at CMTC. So if you have any questions, just let me know and I will do my best to answer as we go. Okay, so what is TV film casting competition? So this competition is set up to resemble an actual TV film audition in the industry. So contestants are provided with a pre-selected script prior to the competition. I will go over those. <laughs> Thank you. I will go over those um, where you can find those scripts and the date for that. So the date that they're released on the contestant hub is April 19th. So I will get into that in just a moment. Um, so during this competition, contestants will perform a scene in front of a panel of casting directors, agents, and managers who are also acting as the competition judges. Okay, so the script is a dialogue between two different characters, and then your character will be clearly noted on the actual script itself, and then a CMTC representative, usually one of our alumni actors, will be reading for the other character during the competition. Okay, so again, if you have any questions as we go, just let me know, and I will keep track here on the chat here. Okay. So the TV competition, TV film casting competition rules. So the TV film casting competition is open to contestants of all ages. I will say though, um, for our four to sevens, we do make the script as easy as possible for the four year olds. However, if they have trouble um, memorizing lines or you don't think that this is something for them, I definitely wouldn't have them um, enter this competition. However, there are definitely some four-year-olds who do really well. Same with the five, six, and seven-year-olds. So we do leave it open for them in case this is something that you as a parent think that they would be interested in and think they have the ability to do so. Um, but the scripts are provided to us from managers and agents who are in LA. So they are sending us what their children that they represent have worked with. So that's just a note on the scripts. But again, the scripts are available just like self-tape competition based on your age and division. So the competition is again set up to resemble an actual TV film audition. During this competition, contestants will be performing a live scene again in front of the reps who are in attendance at CMTC who are judging this competition. So you will walk into the room, you will have a reader who has their script with them. You ideally will go in without a script. You will already have the lines memorized because they are released on April 19th on the contestant hub. So you have about two weeks or more to learn the scripts. And that's actually a very long time for this industry to have a script for an audition. Okay, I just read my comment there. So again, the pre-selected scenes will be, and scripts will be in the contestant hub for you to download on April 19th, 2023. So right now, if you log into the contestant hub, you will see um, there at the top, there's a button that will jump you down to the scripts, but you'll see the self-tape scripts are already there because the self-tapes are due April 1st. And then come April 19th, we will have posted the scripts for the, the TV film casting competition. So they are two different scripts for self-tape as they are for TV film casting. Okay, so just make sure that you're downloading the proper script for your division and for the proper competition. Okay, hi Jaden. We're so excited to see you in May. Hi Yvonne, can't wait to have you back this year. Okay, so again, I will keep going. Um, the competition takes place at CMTC, so that's another important distinction between self-tape, of course, and TV film casting. So you'll receive these scripts on April 19th. You'll receive an email if you're in this competition, just reminding you that the scripts have been released. And then um, you memorize the lines prior to coming to CMTC, ideally. And then you'll go into the competition room knowing your lines and get to work with a reader in front of the judges. Okay. So TV, film, casting, and slides. Again, they are pre-selected. You only are allowed to use the script that is for your division, as the reader that's in the room will only have the script that they are provided with from our team based on the division. Judith, if you are an older adult, would the script be appropriate? So it, we definitely looked at the scripts for ages 20 plus, and again, you have to go in with a creative mindset and own the character as you read it. So if you don't feel like you're, this character is someone your age, you do have to kind of think maybe Reese Witherspoon, an older actress who would be 
asked to deliver similar lines. And again, think of it that way. Don't put yourself in a box as far as how old you think the character is. That's my big tip for that. We're excited too. Okay. So again, for the scripts, you can only use the scripts that are based on your division. They will be sorted in the contestant hub. Again, only download the one that says TV film script. And then below, it will also say when you actually open the script, TV film casting, CNPC 2023. Okay, and again, use the one that's based on your division. Okay, so each contestant will be assigned their role. So it'll be highlighted. It'll let you know who you're playing. And then again, the scene the reader's lines as well will be indicated. So your lines will be highlighted. It'll clearly be indicated at the top who your character is. And then from there, you wanna learn those lines, okay? So again, the script is a dialogue between two characters. So your character and then the character of the reader. And again, it will be an experienced CMTC representative reading the other lines. And we usually pick our alumni who are attending on staff who have acting experience or are actors presently. Okay, so no props, um, you can't bring anything in, uh, no set pieces, and for wardrobe, we recommend daytime casual, that's pretty classic for auditions, and again, judging is based on performance, delivery, believability, and acting range. Roxanne, so we need to go and find the script, is it on the website? So it is released on April 19th, for everybody in this competition, it will be on the contestant hub and again, April 19th. So you have a bit over two weeks to learn the lines for the competition. And again, that's pretty that's pretty long time for acting auditions in this industry. Usually you're giving, given a couple days to learn the lines. So again, since we are working with new faces, we wanted to give you some more time, but we also wanted to make it, again, a bit of a challenge. So you're getting that industry experience. But they will be available April 19th on the contestant hub and if you're registered for this competition you will receive an email um, letting you know that the scripts have been released okay and if you have any problems downloading the scripts you can just reach out to our team and we will send them to you okay so again judging is based on performance delivery believability and acting range so again with these scripts they are open to creative interpretation make sure you're reading the script a couple of times if you have any questions, you can again email us, but read it a couple times, try to imagine what the character's doing, how the character feels. And again, depending on your age, definitely make the character your own. So if you feel like the character's acting a bit younger, but you feel a bit older, then bring that spin to the character. Um, that's my best kind of tip there with bringing, again, there, this happens in the industry where there are people who audition who are a bit older than the character might be in the casting director's mind and then that actor kills the audition and then the character is just a bit older. So again, you have to bring your creative interpretation to these scripts and don't put yourself in a box. And again, acting is, is just that, you're acting, okay? Build by supplier promoter if you freeze. That's a great question. So if you mess up, again, these reps, number one, they're used to working um, with actors. They're used to, nobody's perfect. Everybody makes mistakes. The best actors in the world still make mistakes and stumble on their lines. So just continue to keep going or they will maybe let you start over. It really is up to the reps in that case. We try not to step in. However, if you freeze, just keep going, do your best, or again, ask to start over and you can start over. That happens quite often and that's absolutely fine. Even if it's the second time and you kill it the second time, that's all that matters. Again, as much as it about, is about um, getting the scoring and the judges giving you um, a score for your performance, it's also about getting that experience in front of them. And if they see that you can pick yourself back up and keep going with the script, that's just as impressive. Do we bring our clothes? So yes, so CMTC doesn't provide wardrobe for you. You bring all your own clothes for all of the competitions. And if you're more interested in modeling, we do definitely recommend um, bringing black clothing as far as like for females, leggings, tank tops, t-shirts um, that show your figure. Same for males, black 
jeans, a black t-shirt, that's pretty common and industry standard. For actors, we often say daytime casual, so jeans and like a nice shirt. Um, we do have a Pinterest page, I was about to get into that. We have a Pinterest page specifically for TV film casting and our different acting competitions, just giving you some um, inspiration for packing for CMTC. So if we will the script length be similar to the one for self-tape or longer? It actually will be a bit shorter, um, again, because you were expecting you to memorize these lines. Um, we have made it a bit shorter versus self-tape where you can keep recording up until you've gotten the lines all down pat and you're ready to submit. Um, so the scripts, I would say, are definitely a bit shorter for this competition, again, because we know we're working with new faces and we want to be realistic for what we're expecting from everybody. But again, like I said, the scripts were provided by LA managers and reps that their scripts that their clients have used to audition as well. So it really is um, set up to give you that real industry experience. So again, that they even helped us pick which scripts go for which divisions, of course. So we've just done our best to, to also make it simpler as far as knowing that we're working with new faces and not necessarily experienced actors. When you get there, do you just start or do you say your name, your age, and all? So if you are under the age of 18, we like for you to say your name and your age. If you are over the age of 18, you can just say your name and you can even say your contestant number if you want. We call that slating. So saying your name and age is slating. So you can slate before you go on. Um, so you'll walk into the room. I did just post some photos of last year's TV film competition to give you an idea of what the room looks like. There will be an X on the floor. So you'll walk into the room. You'll be called in one at a time. Parents, you're not allowed to go into the room with your children. And again, that's true to this industry. It is a bit strange because we tell our kids not to talk to strangers, but in this case, they are expected to be able to go in there by themselves. And again, parents can also be a bit distracting for their children. So if you're a parent who is, is, has a child competing in this competition, just prepare them for that, that they're going in by themselves. They will go in we have our reps. Again, for this competition, you'll have a reader, someone who is experienced working with children as well. All the reps for these competitions are the ones we divide them. So they're judging the types of actors that they're looking for. So for the children, it is managers and acting directors Act, oh my goodness, managers, agents, and casting directors who work with kids. So again, they're used to seeing the different levels. And so don't stress about that. And it will be me or somebody else at the contestant's door helping them get in and out of the room. So you'll walk in, you will see the X on the floor, you'll stand on the X, and you can say your name. And then again, if you're under 18, you can say your name and your age, and you can start. So if your script starts with the reader, then the reader will start. If the script starts with you at the actor, then you can start and then the reader will go back and forth with you. Okay. And depending where the reader is standing, you can elect to just have that dialogue with the reader or you can perform your lines facing the judges. So that's up to you as well. Is it okay to improvise if you do mess up or freeze? So do your best to, again, stick with your lines just so the reader can work with you. But again, they don't have to be exact. If you kind of remember the idea of what your character was saying, then our reader will work with you. But try to remember your lines. Uh, again, we recommend not having the script with you. But if you really are feeling more confident, if you have the script at least with you, that's fine too. Okay, but that is something you would have to print and bring yourself. There's no camera to perform to, no. So the reps want you either looking at them or looking, having the dialogue with the reader. There might be a camera in the room. Our camera guy or videographer might be in the room or there might be some photographers in the room, but you are not being recorded for this competition. Great question. Because in this industry, sometimes the auditions are recorded to see how the actor comes across on camera. So that's a great question. Okay. So, where was I? So again, the competition is close to an audience. So it will just be you and the reps in the room, okay? As well as the reader. And again, maybe our photographers and our videographer, and that is it. 
How long does it usually last? Do they ask questions at the audition? So the scripts are about a minute to a minute and a half long. So you're in there for probably just over that, giving your name. If the reps have a question, they definitely will. However, quite a few of the reps just wait. They will, if they have a question for you, they will circle your number or your name and talk to you at callbacks on the Sunday. So because of the amount of contestants and again, staying on schedule, they might not necessarily have a question for you in the competition room, but if they have a question for you, they will write it down and talk to you at callbacks. Oh, I missed the beginning of this live. How do we apply to this competition? So CMTC 2023 is full. We're at our maximum capacity for contestants, but you can just visit the link on our Instagram page and sign up for an audition for CMTC 2024. Okay, so another tip here is when you book an audition, you may hear the term sides. So we, for CMTC, we call them scripts just to keep them simple because again, we're working with new faces. However, you might hear the, the term sides. So what sides refers to in this industry is a portion of the script that you're using for the actual audition. So technically what we are working with is sides, but we call them scripts just because people are more familiar with that term. But again, if you hear the term sides and somebody, a rep or one of our alumni says that to you, they are referring to the the scripts themselves so the parts of the script that you're provided with because the script is a full script for the tv series or a television series or um, netflix series or film the scripts are the entire script for that the sides refers to the little piece that you're given for your audition and that actually comes from like a shakespearean time the term sides so that's just a fun fact, but a pro tip for anyone who's confused if they hear the term sides versus scripts, okay? Okay, so again, getting into wardrobe, costumes are not permitted. So reps, again, suggest that talent wear the most suitable wardrobe choice for auditions, which is a daytime casual outfit. So again, you don't even need to dress how you think the character might be dressing. Um, you just need to dress appropriately for the audition. So again, Jeans and a shirt is absolutely fine. Whatever you're comfortable in, it's important to be comfortable as well. But again, you're putting your best foot forward because you are having the opportunity to get in front of these reps. Okay, and again, if you're looking for a wardrobe inspiration, you can go to our Pinterest page. We have the TV film uh, competition uh, board for you to take a look at when you're packing. Okay. So again, if you want to learn more about this competition, you can just visit our website. All the rules for this competition are posted. And again, for contestants, you'll receive an email summarizing this competition on Thursday with a link to this session, the entire session. And if you have any questions at all, you can just give us a call or send us an email and we're here to help you prepare. So again, these scripts will be released on April 19th and that's giving you a little over two weeks to learn your lines for this competition. My biggest suggestion is to print it out and read it over every night. Try to memorize little by little. Again, give your creative spin to all the characters, make them more suitable for you as an actor, um, whatever you feel comfortable with, but just learn your lines. Um, tips from the reps is memorize your script. So again, you're, they know that you were given over two weeks with these scripts. So do your very, very best, especially if you're in our older divisions, like 12 and over, do your absolute best to learn these lines because again, it's a big opportunity to get in front of these reps, these agencies, managers, these casting directors. Um, you could do such a good job that they think of you for a role outside. It's happened before at CMTC. So I definitely take advantage of the opportunity. If you're nervous, that's normal. That's absolutely normal, but try to just harness that energy and get excited about what you're doing. Again, it's very exciting. So take the time to learn your scripts, but if you make a mistake, just stay calm and start over, okay? The reps, again, know they're working with new faces, and again, the, the most experienced actors can sometimes mess up their lines, so just start over. It's totally fine, okay? So I'm looking at the questions here. When is the Toronto? Okay, so I think these are questions about actually attending CMTC. So when is the Toronto audition? We haven't booked it yet. 
So we are in Toronto for our event in May. And then after that, um, we will start booking auditions in the area. But keep an eye on our website. If you've applied online, then you will receive an email as soon as we've actually booked at the audition. But again, we are full for CMTC 2023. And our numbers are different every year as far as how many we take it. It depends on the hotel capacity and again includes all of our visitors, all of our guests, all of our reps, all of our staff. Okay. How do you audition? Great questions, you guys. So you can audition for CMTC live or through self tapes and we don't have auditions running right now because our event is full. Um, however, you can go to our Instagram bio and click the audition link and sign up for a city near you. Are there any questions from our contestants about TV film casting? for any questions to come through. So next week we are talking about kids casting competition and improv competition. So if you have our props allowed. So no, no props allowed, um, no, no set pieces either. So it's just you and the script. And again, that's true to any audition in this industry. So especially the first round of couple auditions with actors, they don't have any props or any wardrobe. That's a great question. Okay, well, I think that's everything with the questions to do with this competition. Are sneakers or our heels preferred? So for this competition, sneakers are absolutely fine. Even if you are more interested in modeling and you're partaking in um, TV film, that's fine just to wear sneakers. Again, they are um, looking for daytime casual, which again is true to acting audition, so that's absolutely fine. If it was a modeling competition, I would definitely suggest heels if you're comfortable in heels. How many people can continue on when the audition has finished? How many are picked? Roxanne, I'm not sure what you mean by this question, so maybe send us an email so we can help you out. Okay, this is a great question. So you said that you can either look at the reader or the judges when performing. So should you just do one of those or not move between speaker to the between speaking to the reader and the judges? Just like kind of like in theater, if you're comfortable speaking your um, dialogue to the reader and then giving the judges a glance, that's perfectly fine too. That's actually probably a great thing to do so they can see your expression. But if that's going to mess you up um, going back and forth, then you can just pick one and go with that. Again, they're not judging you on, on these things. They're really just judging you on your performance. So it's whatever you're comfortable with as far as looking at the reader or looking at the judges. It is a dialogue between two characters. So I would recommend at least looking at the reader for the scene itself um, if you're comfortable doing that. But if you're comfortable looking back and forth, that's great as well. That means you probably really have it memorized, which is a great thing. When are the winners of each competition announced? So at the award ceremony, we have a second runner up, a first runner up, and a winner for each division, for each competition. Again, my big, big thing I wanna drive home about the award ceremony is it is just kind of a, a way to celebrate the weekend, celebrate your accomplishments, but the trophies don't hold that much weight. And by that, I mean, you can still get tons of callbacks and not win one trophy, or you could win a trophy and that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to have tons of callbacks from reps okay so it's just on the scoring itself and a way for us to celebrate those who did score the highest in each competition but again it's more about the fact that you as an individual and your individual performance and getting in front of these reps and getting the experience and learning more about the industry so the trophies are again a lot of fun and something we do every year um, it's great for everybody to get together during the award ceremony and again celebrate all of your accomplishments throughout the weekend. It's a huge, huge experience attending CMTC 
and competing in these competitions and performing in front of these reps from all over the world. So that's an accomplishment in itself. So I wouldn't put too much weight on the trophies, more about your individual performance and what you do in front of these reps and what you're learning from them and then what you can take forward in your career. But that's a great question. So the winners, to get back to it, the winners are announced during the award ceremony on Saturday. Oh, okay, Roxanne. Okay, so Paul, okay, that, that question I just answered, answered her question. Great. Oh, yes. Dominica, off topic, but the photography go see competition is that title as photography. Yes. So we short form it to photography sometimes, but you're absolutely correct. We talk, we call it photography go see because you have your two photos and it's set up like a go see in the modeling industry where you're, you have your two photos and you're showing the reps at CMTC your photos. Great question. I assume the awards night is very dressy. Yes. So um, we say it's semi-formal. Um, we do get an, an array of what people wear. So for example, I always wear a dress to it. There are often a lot of people who wear dresses. Um, sometimes people do still wear jeans and just like a collared sh shirt or something like that. So there's no dress code per se, but it is a formal or semi-formal event. Okay, great questions, everybody. So, to, or not tomorrow, oh my goodness. Next week, we will be going over kids casting competition and improv competition. So I've combined these two because our kids casting is our kids version of the improv competition. Thanks, Melissa. So I look forward to hosting another session next week. I hope you guys learned a lot during this session. Again, if you have any further questions about this competition, you can just send us an email or give us a call. Um, and our sessions, I think we only have four, four or five sessions left and then we'll be at CMTC. So I can't wait to see you guys then. I can't wait to, I can't wait to see you in May, Cameron. Okay, bye everyone. I can't wait to see you all. Can't wait to see you all. Have a great evening. Bye.